as you can see, I got a new thing. Let's hope these videos look a little better. What's good everyone on YouTube, it's me again, back with another video. And to mark my 26th review, I've made a few changes, so as you saw at the start, I've got a new light, so you can see all my pimples. I've changed the music because I'm kind of sick of listening to that music while editing. And uh, from here on out, I'm going to timestamp all my videos at the start, so that anyone who wants to find a particular thing, whether it be sizing or um, a general overview of the shoe, they can just skip to that part of the video. So I'll just usually place it here, and you guys can like scrub to the video, through the video to whichever part you need. So. Uh, today we've got another ASICS shoe. It seems like I'm reviewing a bunch of ASICS these days. I swear I'm not sponsored by them. And this particular shoe is pretty nondescript, but uh, as we will get further in the video, you'll soon understand why I picked these up. But without further ado, here today we're talking about the Gel Venture 6 in the stone grey colorway. So with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So the box is pretty standard, um, this really isn't any sort of special uh, edition or lifestyle shoe, this is pretty much the ASICS performance shoe. So we've just got the big A on the top, and we've got ASICS written on the side, and it's just in this like sort of matte blue colour with a lighter blue uh, logo. And then when you flip it open, we've got this standard wrapping paper, it's pretty thin, and then just we've got standard shoe stuffing for the rest of it. So, pretty straightforward, no extra laces, no nothing, and on the side it reads Gel Venture 6. Easy enough. So, the retail price of these. In Australia, these retail for a price of 110 Australian dollars. I didn't even pay that. I actually picked these up on a pretty good discount. I picked these up for 66 Australian dollars. I'll put the conversion here. And for 66 Australian dollars, um, when you consider what this shoe resembles and how much the other shoe costs it, I would say this is pretty much a steal in my opinion but with the box out of the way let's get into the shoes and here we are the ASICS Gel Venture 6 in the stone grey colorway so there's not really much I should go over with this shoe um, it really is as nondescript as it looks so it really is just kind of this um, hiking running shoe for, you know, on the cheaper side. So you just got like the signature logo, um, just I think a pretty standard EVA, uh, some gel technology embedded inside. However, it's not actually visible anywhere out on the outside of the shoe. A pretty thick trail outsole. And in terms of the main sort of upper parts between the overlays, it's kind of like this heathered kind of sweater look almost looks like some sort of like tech fleece from like a nike jacket or something like that though i doubt it's tech fleece because i mean it's asics but yeah overall it really is as nondescript as it looks now where it comes into resemblance to another model uh for those who for all my high fashion people out there um you may know of the kiko kostadinov gel burst 2 specifically in the seafoam colorway and for those who don't actually know, the Gel Burst 2 was based off the Gel Venture 6, the Gel Nimbus 19. And as you can probably see, I'll flash the photo up. This pretty much resembles it to a surprising degree. And uh, I'll get more about, like, I'll get more into that kind of stuff when we get to my opinions on this shoe. Now, in terms of sizing, I find that these shoes fit true to size, no problem. Uh, wooden half size up or half size down um, Just go with whatever your true US size is. So I am natively a US nine and a half I bought these in a US nine and a half and they fit me great Now in terms of uh, comfort um, For a $66 shoe the, sh the bottom is actually surprisingly comfortable I wouldn't really say I can feel the gel all that much and this EVA foam that they use is Pretty stiff in comparison to some of their more proprietary uh, foam technologies like flight foam But I would still say it's a pretty decent ride and the upper this sort of heathered gray or this heathered um, Texture is fairly flexible and the overlays are pretty flexible as well So they don't get into in the way in terms of um, movement I will say it seems to be a pretty warm shoe especially without any sort of like breathable wide mesh 
But overall, I'd say for the price, this really does feel quite comfortable on feet. Now I get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions on this shoe. And to be 100% honest, I won't front, I would have never given this shoe a second look had I never seen the ASICS Gel Burst 2. I think part of me really enjoyed, I really grew to like um, actually all of Kiko Kostadinov's collaboration uh, shoes, but I really grew a liking to the Seafoam colorway. And recently I was actually looking around on like Grailed and I actually found a 9.5 in my size, dead stock. But the person was asking for 550 US dollars, which isn't going to happen for me. And to be honest, when you come down to it, that shoe retailed for 400 Australian dollars when it first released. And it's kind of baffling when you realize that the top part of the shoe is based off another shoe that only retails for $110 and goes on sale for like $66. So, I mean, I'll flash some comparison photos, but if you were to just remove the toe overlay and change the sort of straps down here to a single band, and it pretty much is the same shoe. And yeah, it's kind of crazy how different of a price it is. So for me, as a cheap alternative, I would say this is an absolute steal. And if anyone's kind of out there and it's just really itching for something super similar to the Gel Burst 2, um, you can basically get the upper look for a fraction of the price. So in that regard, I actually think this shoe is amazing. And I found it, for a hiking shoe, it actually has a bit of a flavor to it. Um, in the short time I wore it a few times around the house with like different outfits, I actually thought it looked pretty good. So overall, I would just say for the value of money, it's amazing. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. So um, I'd love to hear what you think about the Gel Venture 6 in the stone grey colorway. And um, you know, I won't ask you what's your favorite colorway of these. Out of the Gel Burst 2, which is your favorite? So for me, definitely the Seafoam, and then probably the Terracotta Pair, and then just that olive one that honestly go away. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and uh, mm, time for the on feet portion, and I'll catch you guys in another video.